people ask me all the time about my Instagram and like, what's a, like, like a macro strategy behind it. Cause micro strategies, I can go off and talk to you for eight hours about what I do with Instagram or what I toy with or the little things that I'm messing around with right now. And it changes all the time. But on, from a micro level, I treat my social media as if it was virtual real estate. Um, and that's an asset that can appreciate. Uh, it's an asset that can pay you back tomorrow money, depending on your content. All it takes is one piece of content uh, that if somebody goes and starts checking out your page, they can scroll back to two months ago. They see that one piece of content. They'd be like, oh, this gets me, like this hooks me, right? So <clears throat> treating it as, um, uh, as, as virtual real estate, I make sure, this is a metaphor, of course, but I make sure that my lawn is always mowed. If there's weeds growing, like I make sure to remove those weeds. And I'm always making, in, in house flipping, right? Like there's three main things. You got your curb appeal, you got your kitchen, you got your bathroom. On my virtual real estate, I want to make sure that, you know, my video content, uh, you know, I'm A, I have a call to action somewhere. B, I'm showing my personality. And C, I have a clear and concise message. I mean, if I could do that with, every, with everything that I put out there, then my real estate's going to do nothing but appreciate. 